love you so much. I love you so much. I love you. I love you, mamas. I love you, my darlings. God bless you. Amen. So just one second, children. I need to chase a, a child that needs that should be here. Please connect. Okay, good. I've done that. So tonight, like I said, children, we're learning the story of John the Baptist. So want to tell me, what do you know about John the Baptist? What do you know about John the Baptist? I want to tell me Ooh, the story of John the Baptist. So John, okay, good. I can see Stephanie. I'm going to call Stephanie definitely. And um, who wants to try? I'm not just going to be shouting Stephanie here. I want to be calling everybody's name. So children, I need you to pay 100% attention. So because I don't know TYD, what was TYD? Could you please unmute and tell me your name so I can rename you? So auntie will rename you. What's your name, darling? TYD, if not, I won't call you throughout my session. I need to know your name. I won't be calling TYD. All right, so TYD is not talking, so it's not my fault. Good, so before I call Tiffany, okay, to explain John, what the story of John the Baptist, just let you know, children, it's a very wise story. So today we'll be looking at how John the Baptist was birthed, okay, how um, the story behind the birth of John the Baptist. And then we'll be talking briefly on the lifestyle of John the Baptist, okay, who John the Baptist um, was, you know, so... I want us to pay 100% attention, so which is like two thirds of the story of John the Baptist. John the Baptist did a lot of things in the Bible, okay, children? And we're going to give us an assignment to go and read about this amazing Bible character, okay? Good. Yeah, uh, let me call Stephanie. Stephanie, do tell us what you know about briefly, okay? Omit yourself and let's listen to Stephanie, everybody. Okay, Peter will try, okay? I tell you, it's a long story, all right? So everybody, Contribution will be fantastic tonight. All right, Tiffany, you meet yourself, my love, and tell us, you know, your story, what you know about John the Baptist. Over John to you. The John the Baptist is Jesus' cousin, and he's a Baptist who baptized pe um, people. And nowadays it's called Christian, and it's to how to become like a Christian and follow Jesus' message. Thank you. Thank you. That's beautiful. John the Baptist baptized Jesus Christ. He came as a messenger. He came to the world to tell us about Jesus Christ. Even before Jesus Christ was born, he was preaching to people, telling them to repent of their sins because someone is coming. Jesus is coming to save us, to save the world. Yes, and he did. When Jesus Christ came, he baptized Jesus Christ. And today, like Stephen said, it's part of our Christian custom to always to, to get baptized. I know some of us now will be baptized, you know, and some of us we have not but we're going to get baptized you know in in at some point in our lifetime so it's it's it's, it's very lovely it's an amazing experience children i've been baptized before long time ago when i was young just like yourself i think i was like peter you know when i was baptized but i think i need to i'm, I'm going to do it again i will enroll in my church for baptism uh, baptism so that I can get you know that kind of refresh you, you know in my spirit refreshment in my spirit okay good Thank you so much, Stephanie, for that. So I'm going to call Peter. So Peter, it's your turn. Oh, Florence, how are you, darling, Florence? Florence, I'll call you, but let me just quickly call Peter, okay, to tell us what he, because I need to know what you know about um, the story of John the Baptist. Over to you, my darling, Omiot. Okay, Peter, you Oh, yeah, okay. That, um... That John the Baptist baptized Jesus and a dove came and he didn't know that Jesus was the son of God. And then he got blessed and he... Good. <laughs> Let's go for pizza, go for pizza, go for pizza. Yeah, it's John the Baptist like Steve, simply say peter i just confirmed it again that uh john the baptist baptized jesus christ and in the process why he was baptizing jesus christ something happened heaven opened and a dove came from heaven and was the same that's confirming that jesus christ is the son of god that we should trust him okay children can you can you just imagine if you are there will, will you not be a surprise we not be amazed. Just heaven just open, and there's a voice from heaven, you know, saying, "This is my son, in whom I'm well pleased." You know, 
sorry children from school <laughs> i know sometimes we'll be scared and we'll be like shocked and it's going to be like a beautiful experience yes that is what john the baptist experience all right so florence are you ready or meet yourself my darling and tell us your home parts uh, your home um, story of john the baptist Oh, Florence, we are not talking. Or mute my, yourself, darling, because of our time. So Auntie may have to, oh, I need to, yeah. What's on day? Good, good, good. Are you ready? All right, let me continue. So children, today I'm going to read our introduct uh, introductory part of our book. So like, say, like I said, open to page um, 53, 53. So today, children, I'm going to read the introductory part. And it says, John the Baptist was the man chosen by God to announce the birth of Jesus Christ and the work he would do on earth. In this story, children, today we are going to learn about who the parents of John the Baptist are, how John the Baptist was born, and his major assignment on heart. So, children, tonight, Auntie Mute, Mute, good. I'm um, sorry, um, I mean, um, admit. So, children, tonight we'll be learning three major aspects of John the Baptist's life. John the Baptist have a major ministry on house children, a major assignment. He was born for a purpose, like every one of us children. We all have our own purpose, our own assignment. And as we finish this um, topic tonight, children, and as we grow, we begin to recognize the reason why God has created you. Okay, so tonight we'll be learning about who is the parent of John the Baptist. How was John the Baptist born? And what is this massive assignment, this assignment, this reason why God has created John the Baptist, which we already know, children. So I'm just going to start with this, children. Very soon we are going to have um, um, our um, what, summer party. It's coming up. Um, is it July? Yes, we're going to have summer party where we'll be dancing, you know, praising God, thanking God, you know, for another season. And children, guess what? We'll be having Bible quiz. And I tell you, Tiffany will be part of the Bible quiz. Peter will be there. As, as many of you as we do your assignment will be added. As Zachariah will be there as well. You know, we'll be one of the people representing the kids. And some of us say, I'm not going to call us. It's going to be a surprise. It could be Isaac. It could be Florence. It could be Olivia. It could be Isabella. It could be Darasimi. It could be uh, Adifolayon. Okay, we'll be represent, and we'll be asking some questions. So pay attention because this, I'm, I'm, I'm giving you now, you know, this, what I'll be asking you because I want you to win. I want you to get something really precious from Jesus and I. So pay 100% attention, okay, children. So today we start with who are the parents of uh, John the Baptist? The, okay, I'm going to ask us if we know. Who won't tell me the name of the father of John the Baptist. If you know, you know it, we'll be into Jesus, the name of the father. Of John the Baptist. Okay, Peter, you want to try? So, children, get your pen now. Quickly write it down because this question is coming out. We're going to hassle you. Okay, we're going to hassle you. Who wants to tell me? Who wants to make attempt? Who wants to make attempt? <laughs> Thank you. Love you. Love you. Love you. Love you. Love you. Stephen keeps sending me love. Love you. Yeah, love everybody. Yes. Yeah. So, uh, let me help you because of our time. So, the name of the father of John the Baptist is Zachariah. Z oh, we have Zachariah here with us. <laughs> Zachariah. Okay, children, write that down, your jota. Quickly write it. The name of the... If you don't have your jota, that's fine. But next week, you come with your jota, okay? The name of the father of John the Baptist is Zachariah. So if you don't know the spelling, that's Zachariah here. Z-A-C-H-A-R-I-A-H. So that's the name of the father of John the Baptist. And the name of the mother of John the Baptist is Elizabeth. I have to, I have to write it out. I have to write out Zachariah and Elizabeth on, the, on our chat so that my lovelies will be able to put it down, okay? So the name of the father of John the Baptist is Zachariah. And the name of the mother of John the Baptist is Elizabeth. And there's something special about them. Should you pay attention to me now? There's something really special about them. Be careful, Isaac. Don't do your mouth anyhow. There's something really special about them. They, these people, they are people of God. Okay, I'm just going to tell us about their character. Okay, children, 
you know, sometimes children in life, God used people that are really righteous. God decided to give them John the Baptist, okay? Listen to me, children. So just to know why they were the father, the parent of this amazing um, 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 man, man of God. So let, I'm just going to tell you now about them. Who are they? they Zachariah was a priest in his time. And both Zachariah and Elizabeth, they were very righteous in the sight of God. They obey God's commandment. They are very truthful. They are very lovely. They are very kind. They are very amazing. They don't miss their service. They don't miss their Bible club. They are always in the temple. They are always doing what is right and what is right in the sight of God. And God loves them so much. Children. And guess what, children? That's why the fact they were nice. They were good. They were amazing. They have one problem. And the problem is they don't have children. Oh, God. You know, just my children that mommy and I don't have you. You know, mommy and daddy won't be happy because you are joy to mommy and daddy. Daddy and mommy love you so much. Mommy loves Tiffany, Treasure, Antonia, and your, bro your brother. So mommy loves them. Mommy loves you all. Mommy loves Peter, of course. Mommy loves Olivia, Isabella. Mommy loves Zachariah. Mommy loves Isaac. Mommy like loves... Um, Dara Simi and Adifolayon and sister. God love, mommy love Daniel, uh, Daniela and, Dave, uh, and Divine. So children, our parents loves us so much. So, but um, John the Baptist's parents, they were barren. They don't have children and they were old. But children, that's why the father, they have this problem. They keep trusting God. The problem did stop them from doing what is right. You know, some people, children, example, let me give us an example. Some of us, when we have headache, what we do? We say, oh, I, I don't want to pray. I don't want to go to church. I'm not feeling fine. I'm not. Just imagine. Just headache. Some of us, we like, oh, let me just give an example. Or some of us, if probably we want something and daddy and mommy were unable to give us on time. Probably you want a game, new game. And mommy say, I don't have money yet. I'm going to buy it next month. Or daddy say, I don't have money yet. Don't worry, I'm going to keep buy when, when I have money. Do you know some of us, we, because of that, we'll be so upset. We won't talk to daddy again at home. We talk to mommy. We won't do our work. We won't do our house show. We won't do our assignment. We'll be so moody. These people, they were not like that. They keep believing God. They keep working for God. They go to church every Sunday. They, they do everything they need to do. They read their Bible. They go, they talk to people about God. They do every lovely thing. They, they were kind to people. They were nice. They were amazing. They, 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 were, they, they, they were so lovely. They were forgiving. They don't hurt people. They just do what is right, children. And guess what, children? One day as they went walking as we were doing as they were in the church as we as, as Zechariah was was serving the Lord guess what happened to them children an angel of the Lord appeared to him children do you know what when we are doing what is right God will show himself to us children God show himself to us in different form God can show himself to us for example children by blessing our parents Probably uh, you needed something. You don't even, you've not even mentioned it to daddy. They will just surprise you and just get you. Maybe your wristwatch. Can you see my wristwatch, children? Can you see? One of my friends just gave me. You know. So, children, when we are doing the right thing, this, um, we are telling you the story now of the, the, the uh, we are telling you, we want you to know who John the Baptist's parents are. We've already mentioned the name, which is um, Zachariah. That's the name of the father. And the name of the mother of John the Baptist is Elizabeth. And we've told you about their lifestyle, how they were righteous. They obey the commandment of God. They serve God with all their heart, with all their mind. And one day as they're serving God, guess what happened, children? An angel of the Lord appeared. Oh, no. Let's mute them, Auntie. An angel of the Lord appeared, you know, to Zachariah while he was serving the Lord. And guess what, children? Listen to me, children. What happened? And the angel said to Zachariah, Hello, Zachariah. You are a very lovely, faithful, amazing son of God. And God has decided to give you a lovely son. Zachariah was shocked because, you know, an angel appeared and telling him that he's going to have children. And Zachariah was like, Oh, I'm old. Um, oh, Zachariah was 
you know, was, it was unbelievable for Zachariah. And children, guess what? We need to learn something today, children. Pay attention, everybody. As I, um, Tiffany, pay attention. Never doubt God. When we doubt God, children, do you know what will happen to us? We can be punished. Write it down. God can punish us if we doubt him. So Zechariah, despite the fact he's a righteous man, he loved God so much, he has been serving God with all his heart, children. He doubted God. He doubted because it, it was yes. unbelievable. I'm going to mute you now, Lua Tosin. Last warning. Be careful. Don't distract my my session. You, I will ask you. No, I won't call you now because you are distracting me. I'll call you later. Okay. I'll call you Lua Tosin. Put that hands down later. Good. So listen to me, everybody. He doubted God. Oh my God. It was so painful. And the angel of the Lord said, because you've doubted God, because when God says he's going to do something, children, God will do it. But because you've doubted God, you won't be able to speak. So he became dumb. He was unable to speak. So children, are you, are you paying attention? Because this story is so amazing. I don't know if we've heard about this story before, but let's pay attention that we can get something out of this session. Okay, good. I'm just going to call on Olu Atosin. What do you want to say? Unmute yourself, darling. Quickly tell us before I continue. Quickly tell us what you want to say. You came late. Which page should we be? Oh, your page. Oh, sorry. Auntie, please, can you help us put this always on our chat? Okay. Auntie, I said put... Is that still there? Put on um, the father, the name of the father of yes, John the Baptist. Put it there. What's happening tonight? Please put the name of the father of John the Baptist, the name of the mother, and the page. So, children, we are learning from page okay. 53. Huh? Page 53. Open your book to the page 53. I'll make sure you join next time on time. Page 53. Let me put it there. I don't know what's happening with Auntie tonight. So the name of um, John the Baptist's father is Zachariah because it's coming now, children, in our in our quiz. So you need to know. That's why Auntie is writing this for you. Okay. And the name of the mother is Elizabeth. So I'm just telling you a story, okay, children, of how John Baptist was best, okay? So that's what we are. Is Elizabeth. Thank you. So, children, tonight, um, I'm just telling you about well, oh, because it's important we know the father and the mother of John the Baptist, why God has given them John the Baptist, why God chose to allow them to give birth to John the Baptist. And like I said, they were a very righteous people of God. They go to church always. They are very obedient to God's uh, commandment. They are kind to people. They are lovely. They are amazing. And God decided that, oh, no, I'm going to give this family this special child. And why John the Baptist's father, Zechariah, was in the temple, why he was serving the Lord. Just like how we are, we are here listening to the word of God, children don't play. You know, the angel of the Lord appeared to him and told him he's going to have a son. And because it looks unbelievable because he was old at that time. He and his wife were old. So he was thinking, how? How is it going to happen? So he doubted God. And children, it's really important we note this tonight that we must not doubt God. Anytime we doubt God, it, can, it will attract punishment, okay? And you see the angel told him that he won't be able to talk. So he was unable to talk throughout why um, um, John the Baptist was, um, throughout when the wife was pregnant with John the Baptist. He, was, he couldn't talk. He was dumb. He couldn't talk. So guess what, children? I like God, like I said, when God said he's going to do something for us, God will definitely do that thing. It's God will do it. God does not lie, okay, children? God doesn't lie. God is going to do exactly what he says he's going to do for us. I do know, children, guess what? Don't play, don't play. Be careful. Isaac, I know you want to play. Be careful. My eyes are on you. So as it was about, you know, 
uh, um, as God, as the angel of the Lord appeared, told him he's going to have his son, and he doubted. And the angel of the Lord said, "Don't worry, you're going to have a son definitely, because God is good. God will not change His plan concerning us, but you won't be able to talk." So it was dumb; he couldn't talk. Children, just imagine if you can't talk. You have to be writing on a paper. It's a bad, bad experience. But he was unable to talk because he doubted God. So children never doubt God in the in life. Never doubt God. Always believe God. Okay? Good. And guess what happened again, children? Why When he, he doubted God, and God made it happen, Elizabeth was pregnant. Okay? I know some of you don't know what is pregnancy. Or well, you can tell mommy to tell you how did John the Baptist was birthed. Okay? Mommy and daddy were explained. Okay? Because of our time, I can't go into that today. So he was pregnant. So with... Um, John the Baptist. So when Mary now had a baby, had uh, sorry, when Elizabeth, which is John the Baptist's mom, had uh, gave birth to John the Baptist. So that was, um, the family came. Everybody was so happy because they were whole. They don't have children. So everybody was happy with them, but they don't know what name, you know, to, they are going to name the child. So meanwhile, okay. the angel of the Lord has told um, Zachariah. That the um that the son name his son name will be John, okay. So guess what? So the family has Mary. What name do you want us to give your child? And Mary said John. You know because Mary was able to design get that name because the angel of the other day appeared to Mary. But Mary also was a righteous person. So if you are righteous children, God will speak to you through your dream. When you are reading the Bible, God will speak to you in your heart. God will speak to you. So Mary said, "John," and you know because Zechariah couldn't talk, he was dumb. It, it was um, it was dumb. Yeah. So the family gave him book, uh, notes, and pen. What name do you want to give your son? And he put there John. Somebody was so amazed, and immediately he wrote John. Okay, he really wrote it, and he was able to talk. Yeah, so he was yeah. able to talk. God um, opened his mouth, so he was able to talk. And he was so happy. He was so happy that God indeed promised them and God fulfilled his promise. And he sang so many songs. So children, that's your assignment tonight. Read Luke chapter one. So you, you will see that how Zachariah was so happy, was so excited, and he sang a lot of um, he sang songs, you know, about what God's goodness for his life. So children, it's really important, okay, children, pay attention to me right now that we are doing the, the will of God. And how, children? I know some of us say, oh, but I'm not a prince like a Zachariah. I'm not even, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not an elderly person. Uh, I, I don't know how to say, I don't work in church. No, children. One of the ways you can serve the Lord, children, is by doing what is right. By obeying his commandment. And we know God's commandment, children. I will tell us three of them, and I will, I, we can give us an assignment as well. If you don't know, then go and read Exodus chapter 20. Write it down. Exodus chapter 20, that's where we have the Ten Commandments. And what are the God's will that we need to be doing, children? Number one, do not lie. You know, some of us will still lie. We lie to our parents when we do something when we ask you, who had the chocolate? You say, it's not me. Oh, it's not me. It's, not, it's, it's John. No, children, don't do that. That's not right, okay? And also, we need to be kind to people, okay? It's really important. Another um, um, part of um, Tenth Commandment is do not steal. Don't take what does not belong to you, okay? So we should not steal. We should not bear false weakness against our neighbor. Lying, again, don't lie. That's very false. Be, con be contented. Some of us, we love what other people have. We don't love what we have. So that is that is conventiousness. So God doesn't want us, God wants us to be happy with what we have, not with what other people have, okay? So God is going to give us, it's good, you can see other people, what they have, you can like it, but you don't put your mind, you don't want, you don't, you don't desire it so badly that you want that thing to become yours. No children, we don't do that, okay? By obeying our parents. So it's part of time coming, we need to obey, obey mommy and daddy, you know, and then we, we, sh we, should, we should serve God only, only God, okay? We shouldn't have any other things that we, 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 we cherish more than God. Some of us, we love our game, we don't even read our Bible. In the morning when we wake up, we go to, go, we press our phone, and those are, we've made that thing our God. God is not happy with that. God wants us to have only him. God wants him to, us to always acknowledge him, to always 
talk to him when we're in trouble, when we are not feeling fine, when we, things are not good, when things are good, when we are happy, we say, thank you, God. When we are not happy, we say, God, help me. Okay, children, it's really important. By doing this, children, we are doing the will of God. And as we are doing the will of God, God will make himself known to us. God will appear to us. God will speak to us. In our dream, we dream, God will speak to us. Even physically, children, God will speak to us through our parents. God will surprise us. God will bless our daddy and mommy with things that we love and they will be able to buy for us. God will give us a nice room, nice house, nice everything. God will give, God give us good health. God will give us amazing friends. God will protect us. And when we call upon him, when we cry to God, we answer us. Okay. But if we are not doing what is right, children, are we, not, are we going to see the angel of the Lord? Is there, are we going to see good things from? No. So that's why we need children. We need to always obey the Lord. Always do what is right. Always connect to our Bible club so that we can learn something new. So that we can always, because this Bible club, okay, children, help us. Just imagine today now we are learning about the life of the parents. Some of us, we know the, the story of John the Baptist, but we never know the story of the parents who gave back to John the Baptist. So by connecting to Bible club like this, so you get more information, more knowledge, and more you know, you, you learn a lot, okay, children, so that you can be a better person, so that you can be better than others who are not connecting to program like this. Tonya, don't play. Okay? So, children, we've learned the story about John the Baptist. And, and we've told you how John the Baptist was born, you know, and the angel of the Lord appeared to John's uh, father and told him he's going to have John the Baptist and told him everything that God, um, John the Baptist is going to do on heart. And he doubted God and he was dumb. He was unable to talk until the birth of John the Baptist when God opened his mouth. Okay, children. Let's clap for Jesus, children. Clap for Jesus. Clap for Jesus. Clap for Jesus. Clap for Jesus. No, we're going to stand up, children, before we continue. We're going to have a lesson learned tonight, children. Before we continue, let's stand up. Stand up, everybody. Make sure you're standing. Make sure you're standing. Hey, make sure you're standing. Hey, standing. So we are going to sing a song, a special song, okay? Stand up, everybody. Stand up, Isaac. We're going to sing a special and we're going to dance, okay? Let's dance. Let's dance. And the song say, I love Jesus. I love Jesus. He's my friend. He's my friend. He will never leave me. He will never leave me. He's my friend. He's my. Are you ready, children? Are you ready? Let's do it, everybody. Are you ready? Do you know the song? I love Jesus. I love Jesus. He's my friend. He's my friend. He will never leave me. He will never leave me. He's my friend. He's my friend. I love Jesus. I love Jesus. He's my friend. He's my friend. He will never leave me. He will never leave me. He's my friend. He's my friend. I hate Satan. I hate Satan. He's my enemy. He's my enemy. I will never follow him. I will never follow him. He's my enemy. He's my enemy. I love Jesus. I love Jesus. He's my friend. He's my friend. He will never leave me. He will never leave me. He's my friend. Is my friend good? Let's come for you. Let's come for you. See that's it, everybody. Good, good. Yes, Jesus is our friend, children, and Jesus wants us. Okay, children, pay attention to good, to be kind, to be lovely, so that children, why should we be do so that God will use us, so that we will be what God has called us to be. Okay, children. So we're going to go to the next part, which is his assignment. So when John the Baptist was born, children, he, just, he lived a special life. John the Baptist never, at any point, disobeyed his parents. He was a very good child. And God used him powerfully. God used him, children, to tell us about the birth of Jesus Christ. It was John the Baptist that came, that told us about the birth that Jesus Christ is coming, to, that God is sending Jesus Christ to us. Even though the, the scripture is in the scripture, but John the Baptist was the messenger, someone who talked about it. We, even though uh, in, the, in, in, the, in the Old Testament, you know, the prophet has said something about Jesus, but John was the one who verbatically said it, that Jesus is coming, Jesus is coming. And guess what, children? John was not only saying that Jesus is coming, 
to everybody, but he lived a good life. Everybody respected John the Baptist. John the Baptist doesn't drink, you know, like wine, like every other people. He doesn't eat anyhow. He just eats locusts and beans. He was living a life that is different, that is holy, that is graceful, that is wonderful. <laughs> and God used him indeed, children. God wants to use us, children. God has called us for a purpose. God, we are on heart. Stories, stop playing. Oh, do I to say, oh, you're me. Oh, you're me. They last one year, I'm going to mute your audio. We just continue to play. Okay, Jesus, we, uh, children, we are on head for a purpose. God, we are not here, children, just to play, just to be dancing around, just be, no, we are here for a special assignment. Like, are you seeing Auntie Joy is doing our assignment now? He's teaching you about God. He's telling you about the Bible. You see, every day until we go to Joy, we always send message to parents. Oh, I see she was, she's been paid. No, she's not paid. It's not just passion. It's me doing what God has sent me to do. Okay, children, some of us here, we are going to become doctors tomorrow, whereby we'll be taking care of people. You know, the sick okay well we'll be taking care of them praying for them okay children don't forget that wherever you become in life children listen to me god that is what god wants you to be and you need to do the, the will of god in whatever you find yourself some of us in our class will become a class captain okay where we become responsible for our other people in, the, in our class so don't forget that you're children of god and you need to do this this work okay Whatever you are doing, children, you need to do it rightly, correctly. Do it well, okay? Do it like a child of God. Don't join people to lie against others. Don't fight others, other children. Don't be disobedient to your parents. Don't lie. Don't stay. Be a good children of God. And I tell you, God will use you powerfully in this generation. Children, you become so great and mighty. Yes, in this generation. Don't miss your Bible club. Always pay attention. Okay, when you come to Bible show club, don't play around. Listen to what is teaching you. And after your Bible club, make sure you read your Bible, do your assignment, do everything children you need to do. Listen to daddy and mommy instruction. Listen to Isaac to mommy. Listen to um the, to mommy um Peter. Listen to daddy Tonya. Listen um um Esther. Sit down somewhere. Zachariah, listen to mommy and daddy. Uh, that was, listen to mommy and daddy. Listen, Olivia, to mommy and daddy. Listen to your teacher. Pay attention. Follow instructions. When they ask you to sit down, sit down, children. Because if you don't do this, children, let me tell you, all to the children that are out, if you don't, if you if you don't do what is right, stop playing. That same me stop that thing. Remove that emoticon right now. Remove that emoticon. So if you don't do what is right, children, you will become a bad adult. Do you know that there are some adults today, children, that are, they are in court. You know, they are rascal. They are vagabond. They don't have life. They are drunk addicts. They are drug addicts. They are just, their life is upside down. Why? Because when they were like you, they weren't supposed to be listening to their parents. They choose to be disobedient children and they grow to become a very bad, terrible adults and you don't want to become that children you in your society you see you have seen obama before he was the president of, of united states of america just imagine obama has been disobedient child if he has been a rascal do you think he will become a, a president of, of united states of america no because he, he lived a good life when he was in school he studied he, he, he was obedient you know he, he read well okay and he was a good person that is why people can say that oh we want you to become our president children listen to me pay attention right now you need to do what is right at home do what is good when you are wrong children tell mommy and daddy i'm wrong oh mommy i'm sorry and don't do that again that is how you can grow and become better but if you keep lying and say i'm sorry tomorrow you lie again i'm sorry guess what you're going to grow up to become a bad adult and it's not good to be a bad adult because when you grow up it will be too late no one will be able to correct you again because by then you've become so bad because you've been doing bad things consistently don't lie what? against people always do what is right say that properly um uh, tonya See them properly. So, children, pay attention tonight, okay, to what Auntie is telling you. So, um, John the Baptist lived a very good life, and he was able to fulfill his assignment on that. Okay, he was the forerunner of Jesus Christ, and he experienced so many miracles. Just imagine when he was baptized in Jesus Christ, like Peter said, the heaven opened, and the do and and the angel of uh, and the spirit of God descend like a dove on them, and there's a voice from heaven saying, "This is just imagine that great experience." Look at children. 
His name was all over the world. Today we are talking about him. Just imagine if he's a bad person. Do you think we'll be learning about him? No, we won't learn about him. Okay, children. So that is why it's really important that we always remember that we're not just on heart, just like a figure, just living like, like, no, we are here, okay, children, as the children of God, to be the best of the best wherever we find ourselves, to do what God has asked us to do, to be example to other people, because other children are watching us. Don't, don't be deceived. You know, some of us will say, oh, ah, I go to church, and your other people, they don't go to church, but they'll be looking at you. They'll be looking at your lifestyle. They'll be watching you. And you know, they will learn it from you. And if you say you are a child of God and you start misbehaving, what are you doing, children? When you say you're a child of God, you disobey mommy, you abuse mommy, or you say you say bad things back to daddy, you do, you, you, you hide, look at daddy in a bad way, you do all those things. Guess what? Guess what, children? Guess what you happen? Then you you are making yourself to be a child of Satan. And people who are watching you and the people won't want to relate with you. They feel he's a bad child. He's not trained. He's a mannerless child. And it, it, it will attract this favor. It's the people to love you. They will not like you. They will like, oh, that child, she's always rude to her parents. Oh, she, she's a liar. If we don't want to be like that, but we want to be good, that everybody wants to be like us, we want to be our friends. Yes. So I pray may God help us in Jesus' name. So what have we learned today, children? I'm going to read what the lesson says, and I'm going to ask you what you've learned. One of the things we've learned tonight, Zachariah listening to me, is God can teach us what he wants us to do. Children, God can teach us what he wants us to do. Okay? And God is teaching us now, children, because he wants us to be a better person person a great adult god wants us to be his child indeed so god is telling us children that we need to live a righteous life like zachariah we need to obey the ten command the other the, the ten commandments we need to obey god's commandments we need to be obedient to our parents we need to be truthful okay and second lesson we've learned today children is god can use anybody for his work so god we can use us children god will use us everybody here no, I'm not finding that funny. Um, uh, Dara, see me. Stop that. I don't like that. I didn't for you. I'm going to report it to your parents. Stop it. Sit down properly. Stop it straight away. Now. Put the hands down. Put the hands down. Good. So God can use anybody. Okay. And God is going to use us indeed in Jesus' name. And the last lesson learned children if you have your booklet make sure you're looking at it. So I don't you don't have booklets. So you need to tell mommy, mommy and dad, they should buy you a booklet. What's happening? So tell them to buy you your booklet so that at least you can be reading something while we are teaching you instead of playing. Okay, the third one, children, we should not doubt the power of God because God, when God says something, is going to do it. So we saw what happened, you know, to um, Zachariah when he doubted um, um, the angel, when the angel appeared, we saw he couldn't talk. So don't doubt God. Always believe God. When God says he's going to do something, we'll do it. Okay, children, you pay attention and always ensure you listening and you believe god so our activities for today who wants to tell us how god tell us a story of how god has spoken to you should have you heard god before have you seen the angel of the lord before in your dream ah, Stephanie wants to say something Stephanie wants to say something. i want to hear yes i'm to tell Stephanie and tell us oh my god i love this i love this okay <laughs> um one night i had nightmares and then I prayed to God, and then this um signal came, and like it um like I felt something, and then I was able to sleep again. Good, Woo! that's so beautiful. That's so beautiful. That's so beautiful. Wonderful. Yes, I'm going to tell you my story as well, children. So it's um I have I've seen um. I've had several occasions where God spoke to me, where I've seen the angel of the Lord. So one day, children, one morning, I was just praising God. I was just praying. I was just singing, you know, from my heart. I was telling God, I want to see you. I want you to speak to me. I want to experience you, God, in a special way. You know, I was just praying. Guess what happened? The door just opened, and I saw this person in white. He just came to me and gave me a letter. And when I saw the letter, children, it was... The letter was like my dad is writing, you know, to me. So I collect the letter and the person went to the next person beside me. 
praying because it was a church where I was. We call it Mission House. So that was where I saw an angel of the Lord for the first time. So it was like a trance. It was like real, but it's not real. It's like a trance, okay, children? So that's my experience. And I was so happy, but he didn't talk to me. He just gave me a letter and I will never forget the day. And since that time, children, I've been really, 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 you know, uh, happy about the experience. Yes, children, as we grow in the Lord, as we grow, God will reveal himself to us. God can come in human form. God can come in our dream. We see God, you know, speak to us. Okay, so don't worry. And God can talk to us through our parents, through Auntie Joy, through our people in our lives. You know, where maybe you're passing through some things and the Spirit of God will just speak to you through your friends, you know, your godly friends, I mean. You no, know, speak to you. I'll tell you to do something. Your parent can say, oh, why don't you do it this way? And you do it. That's God speaking to you. And as you do that thing and you get solution to that issue you are having. So God speak to us today. Don't forget. Good. So, um, yes, we're going to pray. Before we pray, I'm going to call two people. You tell me what you've learned tonight. We said a lot of stories. Um, you know, a lot of information has gone out tonight. So tell me what you've learned. I'm going to call Peter and I'm going to call Olivia. Olivia, I know you're watching me. You're like, oh, this auntie, what she's saying. So Olivia, tell me something. I want to hear from you. So auntie, you can, you can stop the preteen. Let them join now because we have three minutes. Close the breakout meeting. So Olivia, what have you learned? I can't hear you because you are muted. Your heart I've learned to always obey God and be truthful, be wise. Never, you know, like, I don't know. Never doubt. Never yeah. doubt God. Never disbelieve God. Good. So, Peter, what do you want to say? Okay, uh, Isabella. Is that Isabella waving? Well, what have you learned? I've learned to not lie. You like to not lie. Good. Because if you lie, then that person is not doing the will of God. It's not like Zachariah. And that person is not going to receive special gift. That Zachariah received special gift from God. And the gift Zachariah received was the gift of the birth of John the Baptist. He was the father of a whole John the Baptist. Just imagine you're the father of Obama. <laughs> you're the president of the United States. Good. Yes. Yeah. So, Peter, over to you, my darling. What have you learned tonight? that we should always do good and good stuff will happen to you. But if you do bad stuff, bad stuff can happen back to you too. Fantastic. God bless you, my darling. God bless you. So, children, don't forget, always do good things. If you do good, good things will happen to you. If you are righteous, you are kind, just like Zachariah, you will, God will give you special gift like John the Baptist. So, you just imagine, like I said, just imagine you are the father, you are the, father, you are the mother of, of, of the president of the United States of America. Uh, we want to be proud of yourself. Yes. But when you do bad things, children, you become bad adults. So, you won't get good rewards from God. In fact, you become you belong to Satan, and evil will be coming will be before that person. So, children, let's be good, and let's always remember that God has created us for a purpose. We are not on heart, you know, just to live like any other person. No, we are children of God. Our life is for God, and like we saw how John the Baptist lived his life. I want to believe and say, taught us uh, uh, about this life of John the Baptist. Yes. So as we seen how he lived his life and God used him powerfully in his generation, God wants to use us two children. So, but for us to be able to qualify to be used by God, okay, children, we need to have good hearts. We need to live a righteous life. We need to obey our parents. We need to be obedient to God's commandments. We need to do good, children. Don't be bad children because if you begin to do what is not right children what happens is you become so bad and satan will hijack you from god we don't want satan to hijack us from god we want to remain children of god we don't want to become children of satan okay and we want to be the messenger like john the baptist we want our life 
okay, to tell, to, to preach to people that truly we are children of God and there is God, okay, children. So don't forget this. And I pray may God help us in Jesus' name, amen. Let's pray, children. Close our eyes, everybody. Toby and Toby, I can see you. God bless you, my darling. Peace, good to see you. Yeah, good to see you, everyone. If I've not called you, that's fine. I can see you, Isabella. God bless you. So, um, treasure. Let's thank God for tonight. Thank God. Yeah, for the grace, the opportunity God has given to us to connect. Like I said, many have events today, children's day today, and parties everywhere, but you choose to connect. Close your eyes, children, and pray. Lord, bless me. Lord, bless my spirit. Lord, bless my soul. Bless my body. Bless my family. Bless my parents. Father, Lord, bless me indeed. Lord, bless us. I just say, my bless every one of us connected tonight. Bless all our parents. Bless all our families. Bless everyone related to Jesus and I, in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. We are going to pray, Lord, help me to always believe you. Oh, Lord, help me to trust you. Help me to be an obedient child. I don't want to be a disobedient child, but I want to be obedient. I want to do what is right. Because that you are you are praying, Lord, help me. Help me to do what is right at all times. Help me, oh Lord, give me the grace to obey you, to grace to trust you, to grace to be good children, to be a good child. Lord, help me to be a good child. Help me, oh Lord, so that I can fulfill my destiny, so that the reason why you've created me on heart will be fulfilled, so that the enemy will not hijack my glory, so that my glory will not be destroyed by the wicked ones, so that my life will not be destroyed, Lord. Help me to be a good child. Help me, oh Lord. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. We're going to pray the last prayer point. We're going to pray for Jesemai. Pray that God will preserve Jesemai. Make sure you are praying. God will bless us with everything we need. We need a lot of things, children, a lot of things. We need to start doing events now, face-to-face -face events. We stopped doing this because of COVID. Now COVID has gone, so we need to come to Birmingham, come to uh, uh, Nigeria, come to uh, Ghana, come to the United States of America, come to where I think uh, Peter is from California, I'm not too sure, or New York. Or come, you know, we need to travel down, you know, to, 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 to meet face-to-face, -to, -face, to have events together. Pray, children, that God will help us, that God will help us to be able to do what he wants us to do for you, say, my close eyes, make sure you pray. God bless you say my God preserve you say my God preserve us God grant us our heart desire God answer our prayers Lord bless us in the name of Jesus so children now we need to pay our tutors we'll be paying them you know for teaching us yes we are going to pray that God, God will send us help Okay, that's blessing. Let God bless you, say my Lord. Use my parents to bless you, say my Lord. Use all our parents to bless you, you say my Lord. Use me to bless you, my Lord. Bless me to be able to bless this ministry. Lord, bless me, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Bless us abundantly in the name of Jesus. Lord Jesus, preserve every of our children tonight. We cover everybody in the blood of Jesus. We pray no way of fashion against us shall prosper. And any tongue that rises against us in church shall be condemned in the name of Jesus. We hide every one of us in the blood of Jesus. We hide us under the pavilion of God. We pray that God will be with us. God will not live nor forsake us. And our life will be beautiful. Next week shall be better than this week. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. anti heart people. Amen. Amen. Amen in Jesus. Let's clap for Jesus, children. Clap for Jesus, clap for Jesus, clap for Jesus, clap for Jesus. Good to see you all tonight. And oh my God, we've spent our time. Yeah, sorry for taking four minutes out of your time. Love you, my darling. God bless you. See you next week. See everybody. So big. Toba. God bless you. you, Isabella. Love you. Hello. Love you. Love you. Peter. Mm. Olivia, Bye. Isabella. <laughs> well, I want to make sure you join the gate treasure. You know, I love you. Isabella, I love you, you know. All right. So now we're going to hand the session. Oh, Esther, I love you so much. I love my baby. I love my baby. I have to end the session. I love everybody. I love you. There are some, I love